Turning overseas, China is battling a disturbing new surge of COVID infections. A new study from the University of Hong Kong warns the country could see nearly a million deaths from the deaths, deaths rather from the virus this winter after lifting its very harsh zero COVID policies. Elizabeth Palmer has more. Official hearses lined up along with private vehicles at the Zhongjiao Crematorium in Beijing, almost two weeks after the Chinese government abruptly lifted its strict COVID controls, which had included routine mass testing and mandatory quarantine. At the same time, the government stopped counting cases. And as for COVID deaths, the official numbers say there were only five today. Social media says different. For example, this video was posted by a user in East Central Henan province, while another working at a funeral home in neighboring Hebei said deaths had increased fivefold in a week. But there is no way to know for sure. The government has increased the number of so-called fever clinics, essentially drop-in medical centers in big cities, and they appear to be coping. They're for people who don't feel well and believe they need treatment, though many citizens just don't know how to judge after years of being told that COVID-19 is a dangerous killer. While many Chinese pharmacies are completely out of cold and flu medication, state media is pushing the optimistic view. In official videos reassuring people that this huge wave of infection will peak soon, and things will be back to normal by spring. For CBS Mornings, I'm Elizabeth Palmer in Tokyo.